The Rifleman. Starring Chuck Connors. in the mountain sure can spoil you. I'd forgotten how hot it was down here. These trout aren't going to make it back to Northport. We'd better have them for supper. Good. Uh, where do you want to camp? Well, anywhere there's some good shelter. Man, looks like we've got company. Isn't that Micah? Yeah. I wonder what he's doing here. Lucas, boy. Mark. Just getting back from your fishing trip? Yeah, what are you doing out here? Oh, I've been over to Marietta on a little business. Tell me, did you catch anything? A whole mess of speckled trout. Well, now, that's better than eating beans out of a can. Got enough of them trout for me, boy? Scully Potter. I'm taking him back to North Fork to stand trial before the circuit judge. What for? He shot and killed Ted Bennett, the sheriff at Marietta, a couple of days ago. Ted Bennett? Why? No reason. He just hates lawmen and everybody connected with him. I tell you, boy, I like my fish fried. You know, in a pan. A little fat back cone in there with them. Yeah, makes them taste nice and juicy. That's enough, Potter. A man headed for the gallows doesn't get any special privileges until his last meal. You ain't hung me yet, lawman. <laughs> <laughs> more. There's some beans left. If you want some, that's all. No. I reckon that's enough. Hey, that boy there, he's a good cook. Done that fish just like I told him. Son, uh, you want to start cleaning up? We can ride on another half hour or so before we bed down. Sure. I'll get the plates, Paul. Good. Stay away from him, boy. Well, I ain't gonna bite him, Marshal. Yeah. <laughs> oh! How do you figure that'll do you any good? I don't like lawmen. I don't like nothing about them. Let me see that, Mike. It's gonna be all right. Lucas, look, why don't you and Mark go on? He shouldn't have stopped here in the first place. It's, it's not good for the boy. It looks like a bad sprain. That's good. Maybe he broke it. It's gonna be all right. Well, not for a couple of days. You won't be able to use it. I have to use it. Lucas, do it like I said. You and Mark go on. Go for your gun. What? You heard me. Go for your gun. <laughs> How about that? He can't even draw his gun. <laughs> Mark, break out the bedrolls. We'll heat up some water so you can soak that and you get some sleep. I'll stand watch. Now, Lucas, listen to me. I won't listen and don't you argue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Harry. You can't blame me for trying. How you doing? All right. What's the matter with you? Can't you sleep? <laughs> no, not with this thing. Night's about half over. Why don't you turn in? Why don't you both turn in? You're keeping me awake. Call me if you have to, Michael. I will. Good night, Lawman. like everybody had a good night's sleep. You figure to make North Fork today, Marshal? I do. Tonight you'll be sleeping behind bars. <laughs> hey, boy, you gonna fix breakfast? I'm hungry. Micah, we got some cornmeal. Paul makes good flapjacks. Let your father sleep, son. He's been up half the night. So were you. I'll stoke up the fire. You brew some coffee, huh? Sure. How's your hand? Well, it's, it's pretty sore, but I think it'll feel much better once I get him locked up. Hey, boy. Make that coffee strong and black. Hey, Marshal. Too bad you didn't get a hard night's sleep like the boy's paw there. He ain't moved an inch since he laid down. He sure must be tired. Give him his breakfast, Mark. I'll go fill his canteen. Hey, boy. You know, this sure does beat it. I mean, you cooked that fish last night, and now these here flaps. Just the way I like them. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. Next time I hit the trail, I'll come looking for you. You and me, we make a team. Why, anybody that cooks like this... I'd... I'd better go wake up my pa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you better go. Thanks. Pa? Pa, you better wake up. Breakfast is ready. Pa, come on, it's morning. Ah, oh, Pa, come on. Pa? What? What's wrong? Pa? Pa, say something. Get up. Micah? Oh. There, there's a rattler in his bedroll. He can't move. And hey, what are you whispering for? He's sick or something? Keep your voice down. You, you sure it's a rattler? I heard it. Hey, come on. What's going on? Well, you want to tell me what's going on? Please. Th there's a snake in my pa's bedroll. A rattler. So just don't make any noise. Huh? Hey, how about that? Huh? Hey, Lawman! 
You gonna have your hands full. Cause that snake don't like where he's at. Ain't that right, Mr. Rattlesnake? You don't like where you're at. Give me a hand, Mark. If he comes to, I... I'll him far enough away from here so he can make all the noise he wants without bothering anybody. Especially that snake. Come on. Grab all of them. All right, let's go. Gloves and what with that blanket around? No, I no, I can't let you do that, Mark. Your father wouldn't let you either. How long can he stay like that? Who knows when that state might. No, no, calm down, boy. Let's take it easy. Hey, Lowman! Come here, I gotta see you. Spot that snake! What do you want? You figured out what to do? You called me over here to ask me that. You know, uh, you want some advice? <laughs> I'll be glad to give it to you. I don't need... I live around these parts all my life. Ain't much I don't know about what lives here. People. Animals. Snakes. One time I got stranded. Lost my horse. Had to live off the land. Used up my bullets. And I wouldn't have made it if I hadn't have caught this big rattlesnake with my bare hands. We thought of that. <laughs> you gonna try it? <laughs> or are you too scared? <laughs> now I'll make a deal with you. No deals. I bought one of them cigars, huh? <laughs> well, I, I could sure use the smoke, <laughs> lawman. <laughs> hey, Mark, you still got that knife I gave you for your birthday? Yeah? Is it, is it good and sharp? I owned it just before Paul and me went on that fishing trip. Good. Now, do you see that bamboo yonder? Yeah. Get down there and cut me a shoot and bring it back to me. Be careful, don't break it. How's that gonna help Paul? Go on, do what I say, boy. Go ahead. Go ahead.
Mark, you, you figure your aim's pretty good? Yeah. All right. Now, if this should happen to work and he comes out, let him get far enough away before you let him have it, understand? Yeah. All right, get ready. Here goes. That heat, that sun up there is hot. You're gonna break that man alive, you don't get him out of that bedroll. There ain't gonna be nothing left of him, you say. You better hear me out. I can save him. What does he mean, Micah? Just talk. What do you mean, you can save my paw? I say that? I told you, Mark, it was just talk. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I reckon I did say that. I also said he's got to make a deal. No deals. Micah, please. Go on. I got told him. You got to know how to handle a rattler. Now, me, I know. Fact is, uh, that'd be easy, because he's under a blanket. Too dangerous. Why? That blanket. I figured he'd have a hard time biting through it. I figured my chances would be pretty good. I'm not talking about your chances. It's him I'm thinking about. You got any other choices? Now, I can't do it with these here on. Now, you take these off, and I'll be willing to give it a try. You mean set you free? No, I didn't say that. Once it's over, why, well, you can put them back on me. That's part of the deal. Go on. For a while, I figured you'd put a bullet in me. That'd be quick, easy. That's why I've been riling you. Come on, get to the point. I figured maybe I helped save that man's life. You'd put in a word for me to the circuit judge. Maybe he'd go easy. That's the deal. You might get off with life. That's all. That's good enough. He ain't got nothing to lose. Please, Micah. Remember, I'll have a gun on you. You try any tricks, it'll be your last. That's fair enough.
be all right now. I'm going to help you get out under there. Because I'm going to get that snake now. And then I'm going to jump back. And you better start shooting. Because that snake is going to be mad. All right? You ready, Mr. Lucas? Here I come. We're gonna take care of that steak. Mr. Lucas, now, this ain't gonna hurt a bit. <laughs> you just lie right still. Now, don't you move. Now, you be sure. I get my hand in there between you and that reptile. Let you roll away. All right? Now, that's very important. Now, let me see. Well, that little son of a gun must be right down in there somewhere. Oh, he's so little. He's biggin'. <laughs> Uh, I would say to you right now, unload that gun and throw it away. And say the same thing to the boy. And if you don't, you'd be a dead man. You made a deal. That's right. <laughs> I did. Marley. Separation of the snake from the man's blanket. <laughs> oh, this is going to be easy. You all ready? Because we're going to get it now. <laughs> and you be sure to roll away. Because I don't want you to get bit. You hear me? <laughs> all right, now. We're just about ready to get him. Here we go. Now let's keep that dingle. Give me that boy. Drink of water. All set, Paul. Everything's ready. Good, son. Right up. Hey, let me give you a hand, Mikey. Thanks, Lucas. Do you think we can make it 15 miles in the next water hole before dark? Uh, if you don't mind, I'd just as soon make it all the way to North Fork. I don't relish sleeping in a bedroll again. Not for a while, anyway. <laughs> I'll go along with that, Lucas. Thank <laughs> you. 